makers in this video. We are going to see step by step how we can send mail using less secure app. This method is used for sending mail in any other programming language or external applications. But for recording this specific tutorial, we will be using Django Web Framework. Since our aim is not to teach you Django, I have already made a Django project which used to send email. For send mail function, we need to pass title of the mail, the message, receiver email address, and we also need to configure the sender mail in our code. If you configured your sender email and its real password on your code, for the sake of security reason, you will end up with SMTP authentication error. You cannot use any email address as a sender email unless you configure it in your code for Django in your setting.p file. To avoid the error page, you can use try and accept statement in which you will no longer see the error, but you will not be able to send the mail. Even if the try accept statement help us to return our specif file, which is index.html file instead of SMTP authentication error page in our case. But it do not help us to send our mail to the receiver email account. To send email properly, we must have to configure sender email in our code properly as email use TLS must be true. Email host must be smpt.gmail.com. Email host user must be sender email address. The email port is 587 for Gmail. After choosing our sender email, we need to configure the email in our email host user, and we also need to create auto-generated password for this piece of project to send email using our Gmail address. To get auto-generated password for your send email project, go to myaccount.google.com and navigate to security, and check if the step verification is on or off. Turn on if it is turned of using your phone number. Once the step verification is on, you need to create an app password for your project. To create app password, go to myaccount.google.com slash app passwords and create a new app passwords. Let's name it send email then. When you press create button, you will get your auto generated password. This is the password for your sender Gmail account for your project. So you must save it here. If you have signed in with more than to Google account on to your PC, make sure to create your app password with the one you intended to use in your sender email address. In some case, you may need to turn a firewall and other antiviruses to send the email successfully in your local server, whatever programming language you used. If you follow this step and you do not make any syntax or your choice of programming language related errors, I bet you this method works 100%. Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.